Transparency is an overused word. It's oft confused with authenticity, which is also important, but completely different. When the average review score of a product is between a 4.2 and a 4.5, that's optimal for purchase conversion. Leading with what you give up to be great at your core. Leading with what maybe a competitor does better than you. Leading with, if you're at a high price point, setting that pricing expectation, whatever it is, when we clear the elephant in the room, we clear that and we lead to the value instead of leading with it. We buy when we can predict, not when we're convinced. I asked ChatGPT to do it for me now, right? Like go and have a look at the reviews and tell me what people are saying is bad. Yes. And the more you niche down, the closer you come to being able to speak to just that group of people and being very good at that one thing that everybody's afraid to do. But it magnetizes that bunch of folks who, who are there. They are your customers and they will never move away. It's helping us predict. They tell the world, you're going to find it, pick it, pack it, shove it, assemble it. But we do that so we can give you modern Scandinavian designed furniture that you didn't pay much for. And there's good meatballs too. Alexander Graham Bell in 1876, he created the greatest technology revolution for the sales world of all time when he made the first phone call, first email. What an incredible gift to the sales and marketing world, right? Like, unbelievable. I could type something, hit send, and it shows up in their inbox instantly. How oh, awesome. We are going to ruin it again. And hopefully sanity prevails and we use it for good, not evil. Like email inboxes in the next Whoa. 12 months, executive inboxes are going to be disgusting. Like it, there's going to need to be technology that recognizes AI generated emails and clears them out. Embrace what you give up to be great at your core. Figure out that you're not all things to all people. Over and over again, companies like yours and individuals like you, here's what you don't like about us. Now, if that's you, cool, let's part as friends and I'll get you into the right direction. If it's not you, let's keep talking. Yeah. That transparency becomes so powerful. You gotta celebrate the losses for the lessons that can be learned. Embrace what you give up to be great at your core. I had the CRO of a multi-billion dollar company reach out to me. Actually, his admin reached out and was like, hey, he wants to talk to you about doing some training in here. I could train that, but if you made a list of the top 50 people that do it, I'd come in at about number 47. Uh, I know of two or three people that are fantastic at it that I would love to make the recommendations for. He was like, what is it you focus on? Like, where's your area? And I, so I talked them through it. Like this transparency stuff is non-traditional. Your messaging, your positioning, the buying journey that you take customers on, you got to play the long game on this. And now his organization objectives are being hit and being met and being exceeded because your role is to be a partner, to be an advisor to them, not be this gross, hey, only look at me, nobody else. Even though I suck at this, I'm going to do it anyway. No, we 